You're live. You live? I am live. You have a pulse? Give your finger on the pulse of the society. What is going on, YouTube? Before you start getting all like, what the heck, man? I want to apologize for not putting a video out this morning. I'm going to blame that all on Star Maybe. Wars Rebellion, the Maybe. cartoon animated series. My bad. I watched episode, or I watched season one yesterday, and it pretty much consumed my whole day. Sorry. And half of the night. And half, <laughs> yes, and half the night. However, we're here now because we got a box. Now, for some of you guys that follow us intently, and I'm, I'm totally appreciative mm -hmm. of that. The other day, we were doing uh, one of these lives. Uh, I don't know if it was here on Facebook or wherever it was, and Sound Digital had chimed in. Hey, Cargif, yes. what's going on? And they were like, hey, guys. And we we're like, dude. We need something. We need something. We need uh, something. Another dealer. What is it? Audio Tastics? Anyways, he had done an unboxing of this amplifier, and I was mm -hmm. like, I want to see this thing and I want, feel it. I want to feel it touch it smell it ooh and i want you guys to do the same well except for the smelling part and the touch but we'll get the camera close enough to think you're touching yeah. it anyways today we got a box and as we say from our favorite movie brad pitt style yeah right here. no what's oh, in the box oh, come on, dude come on we've been doing that joke for years now <laughs> anyways Fernando is anxiously waiting to show you what is in the box. I already opened it. You see? Yeah, we actually accidentally opened it because we, we, yeah. Anyways, check this out. Let's open the box and see what is in the box from our friends at Sound Digital. Oh, yeah. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, look at that. Black and red. I'm not going to lie. Black and red. Very cool color combination. Of course. All right. Let's, let's see what this is first. Let's go ahead and open that because that smells like a giveaway. It smells like so much like a giveaway. P.S. Beard. What's going on, man? That's a banner right there. Is it a banner? You oh, got a banner. Jen, uh, uh, five bucks. How's it going? Jen, Jen, Jenkins, J Jenkins. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Who's a Sound Digital fan? Look at that. That's definitely going to be a giveaway. That is definitely going to be a giveaway because I don't want that. But... So yeah, we'll we'll give that away to somebody tonight. You know what? We'll give that away tonight on Facebook. So somebody, um, you'll have to watch this video to know we're giving it away. But whoever will we'll think of something and we'll give that away tonight. The new EVXO amplifier. Yes, yes, it is, Lewis. So let's let's cut the plastic on. Let's cut all right. The plastic. Okay. Dude, why do you just throw that on the couch no, or throw it on? Like, we're gonna put it on top of it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now you can't find your knife. <laughs> Ah, uh, shout out to Yeah, I got him. Jenkins. I got him. Yeah. yeah. Jenkins. Yep. Oh, man. Thank you. Hell, we all want that. I know, right? I know. <laughs> I know a lot of people want that sound digital one. It's probably going to be the most asked for thing we have. Um, all right. So this is the new... Hold on. Let's go to the front. Let's go to the front. Let's. All right. Let's, let's explain what it is. So it's the new Evo X line of micro amplifiers, which are... Micro amplifiers are a thing. Do they have anything on the back side? What's on the back side of the box? Oh, what did it? What does it say? Um, so highest quality device. components, yep. cutting edge technology, ultimate efficiency, compact design. It says one year of warranty. Right what here. does that say right there? It says the next step in evolution. Your new perfect sound. All right, so lots of cool words on it. Ooh, Look at that. I love micro amplifiers. I'm not going to lie. Every manufacturer that has them and we get them, I'm just like super stoked. Big amplifiers, big amplifier, big fan of those. But it's kind of like I like either really big amplifiers or really small amplifiers. The ones in between, eh. But all right, let's put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. Ooh, oh, now I have small hands. Look at that. So this is, let's get some specs on this. Let's get some specs. Okay, hang on. Ooh. I'm thinking we should pop the back off too. Uh, yeah. We're gonna pop the back off. All right, let's take a look at what we have in oh, my hand right now. All right. Hold on. Right here. Yeah. All right. So measure the size. All right. So what do we got? We got four, four and, a and a half inches. Screw to screw. The screw to screw. You're looking at four and three quarters. So you figure inches. at about two inches for, and then two inches tall. Yeah, or about two inches tall. Yep. So you're gonna figure if it's four and three quarters, add two inches. That six and three quarters, about seven inches, is what you'll need for all the wiring. All right. Oh, right on my ankle. My ankle saved it. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt mm -hmm. so bad. Oh my god. 
Oh, uh, it was an amplifier. Okay, so it looks like we have a, what is that about, a 10 gauge or eight gauge? Hold on, grab it. Can you do me a favor? Can you grab an eight gauge ferrule? Yeah. And let's see if an eight gauge ferrule will fit in. Grab the 10, and, do you have one? Oh, you got one right there. Look at you. Yeah, eight gauge. Will it fit? Eight gauge fit, perfect. Oh, slow right down, there. stop moving, stop moving. Hold on, go down just a little bit. All right, so this is an eight gauge ferrule. So we got eight gauge all across the board here. Perfect. You broke it. I didn't break it. No, dude, I tell you what, though, a brute, my ankles, that really hurts. I cut my ankle. Um, so we got 8 gauge cross. We got, we can bridge it. All right, get to some power specs. Let's see what we got. Two channel. All right, we got ground. We got power. We got remote in the middle. Two channel, four channel. All right, so we can make it a two channel or a four channel. On the other side, we have our high level input plugs, which are here and here. 45 to 850, 80 at the top, high pass, low pass. Gain controls, so basically we have mirrored sides here, so it looks like it's a, a dual, you know, split design. What mm -hmm. do we got for power? All right, Talk to it's me. Uh, 132 watts by 2, uh, 8 ohm. That's pretty cool. What? Yeah. Uh, a 4 ohm. Is, is this the right amplifier? Yeah. Okay. It's a 200. So a give me that ohm. spec again, because I interrupted you rudely. All right, 132. Got that two, one. Uh, 8 ohm, uh, 200 by 2, a 4 ohm. Okay. Uh, we have. I feel like that's a typo. Sixty-six by four. Yeah. All right. At four ohm. Uh, a four ohm. So I'm thinking that eight ohm. I'm thinking that eight ohm load is wrong. That's probably supposed to be, because this is bridged. Bridge. Yeah. Bridge at okay. eight ohm. Yeah. Oh, that is weird. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Why not? Why? Hey, why not? Right. Uh, and a hundred by four at two ohm. All right, so 100 by 4 at 2 ohm or 60 by 4, 66? What did it say? 66. 66 yeah. by 4. So we got 100 by 4 at 2 ohms, 60 by 4 at 4 ohm. We are going to be putting this in the car and testing it at some point. Right now, of course, we're just doing unboxing. Let's pull the screws. Let's pull the screws. Grab your drill. All right, so what iPhone do you have? What is this? This is the iPhone 10. So th there you go. There's, there's size right there. All right. So I know. Nope. Right. What is it? Torx? Torx? Do you have a Torx? Is it a Torx or a Star? It's a Torx. So we got to get those. What's up from Trinidad? Grab or drill. Drill it out, right? You got it? Okay. No, it's all right. It's the joy of live. I mean, if, if there wasn't like silliness, then, you know, if it didn't all go according to plan. Yeah. Drop it. Drop it. Is it hot? That was hot. It's from Cali. What's going on? Quantic troll that's dropping on your ankle. See if it still works. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It only hurts for a little while. You're not bleeding. It's okay. I know. Gut shot. <laughs> What's up from South Africa? Guana. Guana? G-U-Y-A-N-A. Guana? Guyana? Ah, uh, sorry. I suck at this. What's the benefit of a small amp other than size, of course? That's it. Size. That's it. Size and size. Oh, it's an upside down design. Nice. Oh, that is cool. I love it when they do that. So that means it is made to be mounted like this. Awesome. So that's cool. Yeah. So they, they've made some amplifier manufacturers like to do this. So the amplifier slides in. Um, that means that the top of the amplifier, this is all gonna be for heat dissipation. And the circuit board is on the bottom, so it's designed for all heat to rise. Can you see through the side of it? Is that solid yeah. side? Okay, so it's like an ex just an extruded style heat sink. Yeah. Um, it's cool, it's cool. What's up, some South America? South America. All right, leave that off for a second. Okay. Let, me, let me take a closer look at it. Here, you hold this for a second. Let's switch it off. Okay. What is the rest of the handle? That's it, that's all you got. All right, so this is plastic. So that's a plastic end, and it looks like it's not made to come off. This is metal. All right, so there's metal underneath it. There's screws, there's screws behind this. I'm gonna break it. I know I'm gonna okay, break so it. Okay, so don't break it. I don't wanna break it. Well, just don't know, break but it. But I wanna break it. I wanna break it. All right, it's, it's, it's not made to come apart any further. Oh, there's screws here on this end. 
Oh, it's good. Hold on. Let me see this. Let me see this. Hold on. I think I know. I got it. You know what? I'm going to do this end. Maybe this end will come off easier. Keep looking at the actual monitor. That's the important one. All right. Yep, he's gonna break it. I'm not gonna break it. I might break it. I don't want to break it though. Okay, what's the stop? All right, so I'm gonna stop because I know I'm gonna break it if I go any further. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it. Just all right. So basically, what they have is there's a metal lip here, so this slides under. So this is all metal here. This is just cosmetic. So this this whole plastic piece is just cosmetic to finish off the end of the amplifier. There's four screws here that are holding this, which means there's probably two more up here that holds this metal in. Looking into the side of it, you can see the power supply section is like it's like right here. There's a little toroidal right in there. Um, shine it up here to the light. Uh, oh, there's also, it's a double stack circuit board. So there's another circuit board here, which is probably the high level to low level on this end. Um, hold on, let me do a little bit more looking. And all the output devices are, are along the side here. Oh yeah. So, I mean, it's not, it's not super heavy, which is what you expect from one of these micro amplifiers. Yeah. So there is a circuit board design right down the center of it, but this is it. So the plans for this is we're going to put it into Fernando's car naturally because it's the lab and we're going to run the front components off of this because we can do that now in that car. You guys don't know that yet because you guys haven't got to see that video because Star Wars was all day yesterday in preparation for May the 4th day, which is right here. I'm not even gonna bother with it. We'll just leave it like that. But all right, so there you go. The new Evo X line of amplifiers. Now I know in this line, they're gonna have a couple different models. So Two. they're gonna have an 804. Mm -hmm. The 804 is going to be, wow, Jesus. The 804 is gonna be 400 by two at four ohm. It's going to be 4 by 132 at 4 ohm, and mm -hmm. it's going to be 4 by 200 at 2 ohm. So the most common use for this, I can see right off the bat, is going to be the 2 by 400 at 4 ohm. So like if you were to bridge it, and like this one is 2 by 200 at 4 ohm, so you can take this onto a set, you can take this onto a set of components and get 200 watts a side out of it. That's pretty insane or 60 watts by four. So for about this, the, like the size of a crossover, this is cause I mean, most crossovers are about this size. Uh -huh. So you could, you could conceivably go, even though this only goes up to 850 on the high pass. Uh -huh. If you had something like a, um, something like an Alpine set of speakers. Uh -huh. I mean, there again, sound digital. Do they make speakers? Ground Zero they? does. Yeah, um, they make speakers. But if you're going into a DSP or out of a DSP, you could easily take out the crossovers and go full active with this amplifier. Yeah, and like for motorcycles, like Richard say, yes, perfect. Yeah. Or Chevy trucks that have absolutely no room in them whatsoever. Dude, man, you can put like this under the seat with oh, no I problem, know. man. Test it. You know what we should do? What we should do? Uh, I was gonna say. Not drop it. Not drop. Well, we've already dropped it, so we're already. <laughs> that's that's already happened. I just want to get two screws in here so this stops because it's irritating me. I feel like you grabbed the wrong size Torx pit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to put it on the sub. Put it, like half of it on the sub and half of it on a set of speakers. Oh, well, how much? Eh. I mean, it's 100 watts. So. Or it's two. Yeah, it's 200 by two. It's 200 watts. It's yeah. 200 watts to a sub. I mean, it'd probably work. Like a six and a half. Ooh, I wonder. Oh. Oh. What, 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 what is it? Oh. What do All we right, do? All right, we'll do two things with this. What do we do? In a future video, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to put it full active on the front uh, of your car. And then two, I want to run it on the dual six-inch enclosure. Okay. Because I think those are the right ohm load. I think those yeah. are four ohm singles. So we can put this 400 watts onto that mm -hmm. and see how that sounds. All right, so that's a future video that's going to be coming out. We're going to play with this. I would like to thank Sound Digital for giving that's us right. the opportunity to play with this amplifier and look at it. And, of course... I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions about this because I know how popular Sound Digital is. Yeah. Um, with the 12 volt world, and this is definitely new. When we got to see this at uh, Knowledge Fest this year, this is what I want. So these were the amps I wanted. 
Um, we ended up doing a deal with Ground Zero, which is their their partners in crime, mm-hmm. and um, right there, that's those, because um, they really want these for they really want to sell these more for motorcycles and ATVs and stuff like that. But I'm super psyched that they 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 gave us one to play with. And I mean, really right cool. away, because we talk about this on what on Saturday? Yeah, yeah. They got or the Friday. Deal. Their warehouse is in Miami. I know, but still, you know, it's like. How many of these companies is like, oh, yeah, 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 you're going to get it, and nope. Sound Digital, right there, boom. Monday? So we will be giving the banner away tonight on Facebook. We're going to give it this one on Facebook, um, yeah. So we'll give that away tonight to somebody on Facebook. This um, is the uh, high level? High, high level. Ooh, ooh, man. Ooh, oh, ooh. Okay, what, is, what are we doing? All right, so this is cool. All right, I didn't even notice this. Most high-level Tololo adapters don't use colors like this they don't use black red they use like blue yellow green and white white and black yeah and it sucks because you have no idea of knowing what is what you just have to like you always have to have the instruction manual or you have to look on the side of the amplifier right there where it tells you the colors Mm -hmm. um which you know sucks because you're always having to look and i don't want to do that i just want to grab the wire and know what it is so thank you sound digital for getting that right that's right because sound digital that makes me happy <laughs> that makes my uh, craziness happy um all right cool you got my idea? wife won't let me have facebook it's not bad I'm it's sorry. okay you, as soon as as soon as you're here on youtube it's fine, man. Um, and you can go and subscribe to Dean and Fernando Car Stereo Clips. Oh, he wants the banner. He's upset about the banner. Because <laughs> we're going to give it away on Facebook. That's right. Sorry. Uh, all right. I think that's it, guys. I think we've I think we've covered this one. Ready? I think Fernando is not filming anything. No, no. That's it. All right, guys. So see you guys tonight, 630. Well, it won't be 630. We're going early. Tonight. Early, early. There you go. Yeah, so All right. Looking, start looking around 5.30. We're going to be on sometime after 5.30. That's for sure. All, All right, right, guys. Bye. Put back together. See ya.